pickle. Ugh. This is Bubba, and I'm your host for Rogues of the Coast. Uh, we got Troy and Logan. Hi. Now I want cheesecake. Yeah, pickle cheesecake? No. No? I would give it a shot. Um, yeah. Out of a cannon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I might give it a try, but I'm not making it. I will say this. Uh, something I made that I was very surprised about, and people look at me like I'm that shit insane. It doesn't sound as insane. You better not say that. I've had that. He, he gave me some. It you drank bad. damn near all of it. It was good. I liked it. That yeah. was like the first time I was supervising, too. Yep. You did. You needed it. Just grab the fucking... Okay, I'm starting over. I'm going all the way back, and I'm fucking starting over. All right, so this isn't going to sound terrifying to you guys, because we're fat. Um... Not speak for yourself. Okay. Never mind. That was what? gonna be for me. <laughs> Just fucking say it. I was like, you're fatter. Okay, whatever. We, and we're all about He's to be fatter so for this. No. No, I think I'm fluffy. Meringue doesn't move like that. Meringue. Yeah, fluff. that's all fluff. Anyways, anyway, okay. before you hurt my fucking feelings, fucking go. I don't feel any Shut up! Go! <laughs> Peanut butter cheese. Come on, Tubby. Okay, Peanut yeah. butter cheese is good. Yeah, that's good. That sounds no, good. So, yeah, I thought you were about to get us some. Yeah, food. this motherfucker's no, gonna like, like talk about. People like, think I'm. I don't know why people have such an adverse reaction when I tell them, "Hey, peanut butter cheesecake." And here's how I make the peanut butter cheesecake: you get the no the no bake filling, fill up your pie crust. You can make the pie crust if you want; it doesn't really matter. Fill up halfway, and then you melt peanut butter, and you put a layer of peanut butter in there, like maybe half an inch. How how much peanut butter you really want? Whatever you want. If, if you want it, cho- if you want it chunky, it's your fucking cheesecake Peter to Pan. make it. Fucking hell, Troy. No, there's a, there's a difference. No, I, I get it. I no. Hey, get out of that. Dollar store. No, no, it, no. That's beside the point. It's whatever peanut butter you want to make it. Like if you want crunchy peanut butter and the high end stuff. Would you want crunchy peanut butter with I don't know, Troy. It's people. People like what they like. I would Anyways, eat that. you are you are way too off base with this one. Like let's let's focus in. So you I feel crunchy peanut. You, you melt the peanut butter, you make a layer of peanut butter there, and then you put in the second half of the no-bake filling. Cool it down, and that way every slice, you can either choose to put jelly or chocolate over it. Oh, jelly. Or jam. You didn't say peanut butter, jelly, cheesecake. You said peanut butter, cheesecake. Yes, so you put a layer of peanut butter. So if you want just a peanut butter cheesecake, you got peanut butter cheesecake, you cut, cut a slice, you're good to go, right? But if you want to get special... You put chocolate sauce on it. Cool. You have a Reese's cheesecake. If you want to have like PB and J cheesecake, there you go. I when I was doing my, uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard of this. It's the uh, the four hour body. It's it's. I'm not gonna go into details of it, but is that we get special in Oregon? No. <laughs> Uh, effectively, it was a diet program that, honestly, if you do it, you have to do the cheat day. Otherwise, it doesn't work, oddly enough. So that's one thing I would eat on my cheat day was I'd make a whole fucking cheesecake like that and just eat that bitch. It's like, it's like, it's like people who go get like, cheat days and they're working out. And they go get a whole like, cheat cake and eat it. What the fuck? I mean, this is a time of Oh, oh chivalry piss from fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, you about to get on. He's like, you're going to show him who's piss from <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, fuck God. you. <laughs> hey, Troy, um, this is this is actually fun for you because uh, you and I played Dungeons & Dragons for a long time. And it was a TikTok thing. It was like, okay, what was the scariest thing that you ever, as a GM, did you ever make as a mimic? Yes. A bar. A bar. A tavern. Sorry. Yeah. A tavern. A whole tavern. A whole tavern. It's a, there's a mimic. Where, there's a thing where the tavern is a bar. The tavern is a mimic. The things in the tavern is a mimic. And there's a bar owner, and he's being held hostage, and he has to feed people this feed people who comes into the uh, bar to this mimic or he will be killed himself. So. 
Okay, that's that's pretty cool. So, and, and so during the game, you're sitting at a bar, and the bartender's there, and he's, he's, he's like sweating, and he's, you know, counting how many people, he's asking how many people is coming in, and like, do you have any more people coming in, do you have any more people coming in, and one of them gets up and goes, you know, I'm going to go back outside, because it's going to be the kitchen, the door doesn't open, the door won't open, then a mimic pops out of the door, so they fight the mimic, and then someone walks into the table. Yeah, the, the person who responded was like, yeah, the dungeon you just walked into. I guess you're right. Yeah, so like ma- making the entire environment a mimic yeah. is pretty intense. Yeah, so yeah, the, the tavern in the thing was pretty fun, but it was terrifying because it was just like, did you just see that? I did. That's welcome to the wonderful fucking world. Mario 64. Hey, you know, what are you doing? Okay, I was trying something and obviously I'm trying to turn around now. Turn around. <laughs> That's what it's like. No one like I'm turning the fucking Titanic. I never let go. You can, go. I can uh, fit you can fit on this door. You can fit this <laughs> never mind. Troy's like I never did. Gross. It is a door knob. She freezes. Oh, shit. Stupid brain. Stupid brain. No! No! <laughs> you said it out loud, Troy. Fuck! That was, that was good. That was, that was good. Wait. <laughs> Get the fuck! No, thank God the game's like fucking showing some type of goddamn mercy. Is it? You're not out of the water. You're not out of the cold water yet, boy. Oh, uh, you look at you, big brain. Uh, uh, oh god, that that hurt me. Welcome to Mario 64. Wait, it's nothing but fucking reasons sometimes. Don't get some stuff, don't get some coins. You die. You fucking are already dead. Yeah, but at this point... <laughs> at this point, like, if I die, it'll just be a closer track to the fucking third. Like, it'll just be... Just run yourself right out. Fucking stop. Oh god, god, god I love this. I, I'm glad you started playing this and not me. <laughs> fucking stop. This is so fucked up. Yeah, he has a sliver of fucking health. You should go get health. If he falls, you're dead. If you fall back in the water, you know what? Dead. Like, I'll be fine. Like, stop hopefully. saying that. I'm gonna be fine. Why? Are, why? Are, you, you sound so defeated. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, can you just like shimmy over? No, no it'll blow you. Go. It'll still blow you off. Well, if you shimmy on the other side. Blow me away. You see where I'm trying to go? Yep, next to a penguin. All right, guys. What is it? It's the final countdown. This will determine if we even finish the series now. What the fuck? Just to what the fuck? Oh, I didn't kill you. No! What <laughs> happened? Get your hat. You need that. Thanks, Slogan. I'll grab the fucking hat. What happens if you don't get your hat? You just walk around without a hat on. Watch All right. Your, watch your feet. <sighs> Doing it again. <laughs> just leave me watch alone. This. Snowman. Just snowman. Fucking leave me Smacks alone. You in the back of the head. No, it's a trap. Don't that do is. That yes. is a trap. That's the fucking mimic. Yeah. You've already went over there. Yeah. <laughs> Mario's depressed. <laughs> Alright, go down. No! Go down, go down, go down, go down. Okay, we got some hope. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> no. No. Bubba. No. I'm not risking it anymore. Bubba. I'm not risking it for the biscuit anymore. Bubba. That's not a biscuit. Can't it's you soggy. get the coins? I mean, can't you get the uh, turtle shell? That is quite a sad No, nonsense. the turtle shell disappears. I just want to get to that igloo. If I can get to that igloo, it's over with this whole stage. We've completed the whole stage. If I if I can get to the igloo, my father will love me. I have a loving father. 
water. Hmm. Yeah. You don't think I do? What? What, do you, what makes you say that? that? Like, he watched you Mario 64. <laughs> no, my mom did actually. He's like, for some reason, he's very adamant. He's like, I didn't buy that. You're not being. Like, oh, thanks, Dad. Oh, I just gave her the money. Oh, my mom had her own money. Yeah. All right. So. Woof. <laughs> I fucking die, dude. I just fucking end it. That this is where I was trying to go. Just there. <laughs> well, I'm getting in there, goddammit. I love he's just like how the fuck This is where he pisses from. I'm killing everybody. Done. I d I don't wanna fucking risk it no more. Just punch her. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. Murk that dude yeah. Oh, hey, dude, man. look. Oh, yeah. He ain't going home. Surprise, bitch. <laughs> okay, this is going to be fucking difficult. Is it? Not really. Okay, I believe you. Oh, do I want to open up a fucking cannon after. Like, hold on. Don't know. Yes. Yeah, I guess. What up, dude? What's up, bro? What's up, man? Yeah, I think you did. Hi, pal. I think you opened it up. Oh, thanks for the plentiful fucking coins. In this stage, yeah. Just like, this is the easy part. I'm not gonna fall anywhere. There's no hole that'll drag me down. You say that out loud. And that's what I need right there. I was like, this, you, you are taking your face. Oh, nice. Gone. Yay! Here we go! Like, I got bags under my eyes. I'm fucking stressed. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, like, that was intense. Like, I've never been so angry on this in fucking entire channel. I, I could hear. I felt the anger and the hate coming from you. I was making sure I got everything. I have no idea what makes to where I can exit. Like, I still don't. Dingle, dang. dingle, 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 dingle. That's a lot of. Is that some ASMR? Dingle, 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 dingle. That's a lot of mouth moisture. Ugh. Ugh. Like that. Okay, I'm done. I'll never do that again. I apologize <laughs> profusely for that. Uh, just lost subscribers or gained them. Or gained them, yeah. I don't know if I want those subscribers. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do this level just yet because this is actually like a really, really complex level. Is it? I mean, I don't want to say complex, but just the backstory behind this level and just the theories behind this particular level is astounding. It's a spider with oranges for feet. Like, this is going to have to be next episode. Next episode? No, not yet. Not yet. No, I can't leave you on the cliffhanger, but seriously, like, there's a lot going on on that level. Oh, God, my ears are wet. Okay, I'm trying to look for this one. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Get go in. Go on. Get in there. Van, go into the fucking painting. Scale the mountain. This one. No one's go. ever made that joke. No, I, I don't think anyone actually ever. Oh, fuck. Every time I hear that, I think of, like, getting trolled in Super Mario Maker 2. We I fucked that up. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think you can fuck that up. That that's just friends being friends, right? Uh, what stuff is this? Oh, dude, there's actually a way you can glitch that guy out so bad that it crashes your fucking cartridge. I was trying to fist you. The monkey? No, that, uh... The shark? Yeah. You can get him to grow so big that he, uh, he actually, like, grows way bigger than the actual level itself, causing the game to crash. I forgot how you did it, but I watched a uh, TikTok ah! on it. Holy shit! Oh, oh yeah, God. there's there's ball. <laughs> oh, God damn! You are, you are taking those straight to the face. Excuse, excuse me while I smack my big balls. 
Lord of mercy. Oh, yeah, it is good to talk to go. Oh, yeah, it's that fucking easy, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, the thing is hiding. Oh! Oh, and that motherfucker oh. right there will blow you square off of there. Off the <laughs> fucking stage. Yeah, that's Berlin. I smell a fart. Do you use it? Hold on, what was that? That thing, uh, it's like, do you like the German Sparkle Party? I like the Sparkle Party. Yeah, just walk at a brisk pace until you make it in. Yeah, of course, I'm guaranteed. And then you fall off the mountain. Yeah, all the way, dude. I would have ended the whole entire thing. Like, all right, guys, so I'm done. Hey, good thing. Um, you beat it. Congratulations. Yeah, con thanks. Congratulations, Shinji. Dude, whenever y'all get home, I know this will probably be like this probably won't be uploaded to like a long time from now. Probably not. But go home and look up Mario Iceberg, Super Mario 64 Icebergs. They are the most fascinating fucking thing I, I've ever watched. And they, it paints Mario 64 in this creepy light. Because like, there is something, like, even, like, like, as a kid, there was something unsettling about this game. Like, to me, anyway. I don't know if you did it per se, but, like, there's guys that go really in-depth with it. Like, there's one iceberg that talks about, like, every Super Mario 64 cartridge was personalized for each character, but it's, I mean, each person that bought the game. That's, that's, so, uh, like, okay. so, like, that's, people get very little tiny experiences that they always talk about on the playgrounds. I remember going to kindergarten talking about this game, like, first grade or something like that, and talking about Mario 64 and just what we went through and what we were doing and shit. It was a fascinating experience. Like some kids would be like, well, I did this. And it's like, it's impossible. And then just like, my dad works at Nintendo stuff. What? And just like, my dad works as people, kids that like making stuff up. And then, of course it is. But like, there's like a theory that says it's personalized. Like none of us actually imagined it or lied about it. It's like, it was everybody's true experience. And it has, like there's one... I, we're way over by like two minutes, but like I don't even care. But we're going to, but we're gonna finish this off in the next episode because I'm gonna remember what we're talking about just by on this level because this is a really cre like, not a creepy level. Like I'm hyping it up too much. It has to, unless you want to. Sorry, guys. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna but break let's, out the daddy kisses next. But leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, hit that share button, and I'll see y'all next episode. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye.